what are the biggest opportunities and challenges of cybersecurity and why is it a way sexier topic than you thought? Let's find out. Cybersecurity year over year has been dealing with very similar issues. Preventing and addressing data breaches, ransomware, coming up with more and more sophisticated ways to build multi-factor authentication systems. This year we are getting out of that Groundhog Day as AI has become more powerful than ever. And at the same time, IoT trends essentially mean that everything is becoming a computer. Read, everything is hackable. Our world around is very hackable nowadays. With AI becoming available to everyone, there are some huge challenges and great opportunities. We could have AI systems hacking into an AI, which essentially could lead to you making bad decisions based on bad information. It could be essentially your Google Maps telling you to jump off a cliff or ChatGPT telling you to harm yourself. At the same time, using AI for cybersecurity allows us to protect ourselves from the attacks to which we were much more vulnerable in the past. Quite recently, we had ChatGPT4 hack through the CAPTCHA system by hiring someone on TaskRabbit while pretending to be a blind person. Now we have an AI lying to do a task that it was given. Isn't that scary? I'm sure you've seen videos of politicians or famous people singing or dancing. Somewhere over the rainbow. Things they've clearly haven't done. I have one speed, I have one gear, go. At times it looks like a joke, but isn't it scary how realistic it looks? Now imagine this deep fake being used to make a politician say things they haven't said before and making you take a decision you wouldn't have made. How do we distinguish between a fake and real image when we have Dali create a seemingly perfect picture of a hamster dancing salsa in a style of Van Gogh? Despite the importance of those challenges, cybersecurity is facing a huge scale scale. There's a website called cyberseek.org and there you can find all of the information about cybersecurity job openings. You can see that just in the US, there are 750,000 job openings in the sector of cybersecurity, with 1 million of cybersecurity jobs being filled. That's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. Today at 42 Berlin, we're hosting an event, Spotlight on Cybersecurity. Let's tune in. So sometimes I think for sure cybersecurity seems to be not that sexy. I think it's much easier explaining your grandma that you developed this great app and she can probably see it on your or her phone. If you say like I prevented an attacker to come into a very difficult environment, probably that's not that sexy. But nevertheless, uh, when we think about all the technology that surrounds us in our everyday world, from cars, alarms, whatever, everything, that's for sure one reason why cybersecurity um, and the demand for that increased that much. It's also getting more complicated for sure. And to be honest, like the geopolitical situation that we have at the moment with a lot of also nation state hackers, so that are funded by nations. We see that also the attacks are increasing um, and that also uh, leads to the demand for more defense. We have different disciplines in cybersecurity, so there's not only one cybersecurity specialist, you have that encoding, you have the infrastructure, networking and so on. And for sure, it's also a precious environment to work in. Uh, your day uh, can look totally different that you have planned it in the morning uh, if something unexpected comes up and you also need to handle that. So that makes the job also, yeah, precious and uh, stressful. So you mentioned the skill gap. So we definitely have the opportunity to automize uh, things that people don't like anyway uh, with AI when you think about reverse engineering. So you have a dangerous snippet of code and understanding what that does and how it functions 
took days to analyze it and a lot of people and now with AI we can be much faster um, and it will cost less resources uh, to do that. So I think that's a tremendous um, benefit that we get. But also you can do things like analyze your environment and see if there are any vulnerabilities that are known that you could be affected by. Um, that also done by AI, so I think that's really great. And it also lowers kind of the barrier to get into cybersecurity because you can also uh, ask AI to uh, write you an analysis or a code snippet and so on. So basically anyone can use that. And I think that's, that's really great to see. When we come to the dangers, and for sure we saw a lot of pictures already going around created by AI. So uh, Trump in jail is one example, I would say. Um, so we have uh, one principle in Microsoft that we have in security and it is never trust and always validate. And when I see these pictures, um, it always reminds me of that. So never trust one source, the source, uh, validate your source, uh, validate the information. And I hope that by that we can kind of mitigate uh, these, these dangers um, and yeah, use the AI for the good things. It starts with society because when we think we teach people to look left right left again when they cross the road these days we send our parents and grandparents a screenshot if you get this sms don't trust it don't click the link stuff like that so i think it really starts with educating basically everyone every age about uh, cyber security and which are basic mechanisms like multi-factor authentication and then for sure uh, as we already said probably it's nicer to be an app developer or uh, more uh, appealing um, but i think also in it education starting in school but also in university, um, having this kind of exchange uh, and deep dive uh, also into cybersecurity would help a lot because if you see it, you can fall in love with it, I would say. Um, and that's why I think it's, it's good to get some insights on that um, during studies, uh, during education. And that's something I would uh, really love to see more often. This is nuts. Every 1.12 seconds, there's a cybersecurity attack happening. And cybersecurity related crime will cost us up to $10 trillion by 2025. With that in mind, it seems like a great idea for you to get into cybersecurity and become an expert. Great news 42 Berlin offers an advanced track where you can do that. Next week, we will talk about. AI. Make sure to subscribe, like, and see you soon.